back once again here. Uh, going to wrap up our little evening get together here with the final question. Which is, <laughs> what's the most damage you've accidentally inflicted on a knife? And which knife was it? And right off the hop, um, given PMW said he broke his Leatherman wingman at the pliers. So, Damn. yeah. <laughs> So I don't know exactly how, if they snapped sideways, if he was torquing down and like really gripping down on them and they broke in line with whatever he was trying to cut or something like that. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you probably can stop doing those, uh, those spring things that like strengthen your forearms. You can give up on those. You're, yep. you've, you've, you've won. You've won. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, don't oh, like that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's super impressive. Um, but I bet you if you had sent it back to Leatherman, they would have given you a brand new one for free. Oh, yeah. Because they're awesome like that. I wonder if they that like email would go around like at the, the water cooler and stuff like that about somebody breaking one of their pliers like right in half. It can't happen that often, right? You'd hope not. I mean... <laughs> with, with the reputation that they have, it can't be happening that often. No idea. Yeah. I, think, I think Dennis is dying. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, Ahsoka Edge said um, his Marfione Annex... In the early days of his sharpening, he blunted the tip and widened the edge. Oh, I've had that happen. That sucks. You gotta be careful with that edge widening. Nope. Out of all the things damage wise, though, there's worse things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I was just, I'm sure there's some kind of uh, innuendo joke in there somewhere. Oh my. Also, in blunting your tip. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> um, and yes, uh, Justin, you did misread this question, but we'll get to your answer soon. Um, Mr. Fisk says Spartaco has put holes in basically every single one of their knives. <laughs> thereby ruining them. And then responded nice. again, also, you cannot invent a hole. You just can't. So like I said, in chat, and then we're coming back around to it. So, so a little bit of an agenda there on the question that we asked compared to the answer that was given. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> you, Have you met Mr. You Fisk? twisted that one just enough. Not give us an answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is the damage you have caused, not what Spider Co. may or may not have done. Once again, they've made some really horrific uh, choices in the past, but. Um, John and Mrs. Saga saying in chat that he's got lots of scuffs and scratches, uh, but hasn't broken anything yet. So uh, good for you, bud. Knock on wood. I've gotten off fairly lucky. I've only really dropped and damaged one, um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Mad One Outdoors said he snapped the tip off a gas station special um, when he was growing up, but he learned better from that experience. I think we've all broken the tip off of some cheap knife at some point in our life and gone, "Oh, yeah, don't do that. Cool." And then you never do it again. No? No. Yeah. Bent. Uh, bent tip. I don't think I've broken a tip. I've bent a tip. I'm trying to think if I've ever broken a tip. No, I I think that's one thing I haven't I haven't Mr. done. Mr. Fisk asked, actually gave it gave us an answer in uh, in chat. Doesn't and count. He said he 
he's broken the tip off his 943 twice. Oh, that 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 that, that sucks. Yeah. yeah, he did it again last week. Oof. <laughs> also, Ben is saying uh, just nip the tip. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Peter Griffin. Hey. No. <laughs> um, who's your knife nut? Uh, his giant mouse, GM5, cut the tendon on the back of his thumb while he was trying to close it with his left hand. So, for the record, Justin, you're not the only one that misread this question. Ooh, <laughs> but that's still nasty as hell. That yeah. sucks. Um, yeah, that would not be fun. When you get a tendon or, like, the important bits... That squicks me mm. out. I don't mind cutting myself. I don't like it, but <laughs> chicks dig scars. But wounds heal. I like to be able to use these things. Yeah, skin heals, but I, I want my tendons intact. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Uh, Knife Nerd 0671. Uh, he lent his para two out, and dude used it as a screwdriver. Uh-huh. Bad times. Um, yeah, I have a rule where I don't lend out my knives to people. I just ask them what they want me to cut for them. It's much easier that way. At older jobs, I actually used to carry a smaller, cheaper knife to lend out to coworkers who had temporarily misplaced knives or didn't have one when they needed one. And I stopped doing it after a while because I just got sick of resharpening the damn thing and <laughs> fixing tips and uh, people don't take care of other people's tools, it seems. Nope. It's no. Very discourteous activity. It's disappointing more than anything else, to be honest. Zinks in chat is saying, surgery from knife injuries is never fun. That sounds like it has a story behind it. Um, but it is funny when you show up at the hospital and they go, okay, so what happened? Well, I work at a knife store. <laughs> trying to get this sword out of its sheath oh. and then I was trying to close I was trying to close a knife one handed and it <laughs> landed on my thumb <laughs> oh. just you Joe just you <laughs> yep <sighs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it was an AD15 for those curious Okay, I'm reading comments in chat, then they're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's Paul's getting reactions are good. Uh, yeah. I cut my finger almost off with a K bar kukri. Oh, that's yeah. not good. No. Man, and, and with a kukri, this, that's that could be like a one and done. Like the momentum you can question, This question took an ugly turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Paul is. So, what was the next answer about a knife damage, Paul? <laughs> oh, uh, and then John is saying that he cut his left thumb tendon and nerve and needed surgery. That's and not great. is saying that you got to pay extra fee for people to take care of your tool, which yeah, you uh, Dennis knows about that. People pay him to take care of their tool. Technically true. <laughs> <laughs> I take care of some things. <laughs> I thought I was clever. Yep. <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm laughing at my jokes, to hell with the rest of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Screw your viewership. <laughs> they're <laughs> laughing, just not you. <laughs> So I'm making jokes at your expense for their pleasure. I'm sorry. Um, Joe Frazier, 101182, responded, I was playing with my ZT850, dropped it down. He was, of course, outside, and it hit the only rock in sight. Which, if you're going to drop yeah, your knife, really. that's the way it happens. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got uh, Matt in chat right now. Black Frost just jumped into chat. What's going on, dude? And uh, uh, I, I tried to kill him today. 
I literally I tried to kill him on the side of the mountain. But it was he mainly he? he was not prepared for being on said side of the mountain. Couldn't have been <laughs> couldn't have been trying that hard if he's still alive. Yeah, you had fourteen kilometers to make your decision and you you, you waffled on it. I was counting on the fourteen K to do the job for me. There you go. Uh Ouch. Matt said he's dying. So. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Matt. back. My internet went weird again. Oh, welcome back, Nigel. Yep. So how's about yeah. that there? Knife damage. Zinx's EDC says, just like buttered toast always lands butter side down, a knife will always hit a rock. Which yep. I like. I like that a lot. <laughs> From Tool Till Art said he was cutting through like the rubber um, end on the bottom of a, of a chair and hit the screw that it was attached to the chair with. Mm. Uh, um, that's his always... Bradford Guardian and chipped up a lot of the edge. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is that the Bradford Guardian? It's like EDC fixed blade sized, kind of well, like the depends. one you have. There's a couple the different that, sizes. I think the one that Francis has is one of the Guardian 3s or the Guardian 4s. I have a Guardian 6, and it's a bit of a beast, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. assuming that the uh, the numbers, like 3, 4, 6, is length? 3 inches, 4 I, inches, 6 inches? I think so. Depends on who's six inches you're talking about, right? So, Indeed. Uh, Mr. Fisk has taken off for the night. Have a good night, brother. See you, man. See you later. See you, man. Apparently, hamsters aren't going to sell themselves, so he's got to go to bed. <laughs> Dude, hamsters sell themselves. Yes, they do. Come They're on, Dad. so cute. They're adorable. Yeah, you don't have to put your salesman face on to move a hamster. Like, it's... <laughs> they can't work the till, though. So you still need someone there to ring them through. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> watch there for Mr. Fisk. Hamster jumps up, hits the fence. <laughs> well, they don't have enough weight. Even oh. if they're like sitting there jumping on the buttons, they won't push it down. <laughs> That's just making this cuter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Grow some opposable thumbs and come back and talk to me. Like it's, exactly. Yeah. Grow some thumbs or get out. <laughs> now I've just got this mental image of like a really tiny hamster with these giant human-sized thumbs attached to the end of its little stubs, and I don't like that. So let's talk about something um, else. Let's talk about who uh, who answered next. Why does the ratio have to be off? Like, why can't they have like that's what that makes it disturbing? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's got to be fucked up. I mean, I... Mr. Fisk says, "Tell the cat I said good night." <laughs> <laughs> what are we chopped liver? Yeah. <laughs> You said goodnight yes. to us already. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a flyboy thing, uh, Justin. A friend CRKT igniter. Uh, deep cut on the left index. Probably should have been stitches. And then I guess he's learning from Mr. Fisk and the fact that Mr. Fisk likes to go back and give a second answer. Um, honorable mention. So he's also taken a page out of Joe's book. Uh, is second place to a dull Cambodian tire hatchet. Almost took off his big toe. Christ. I, I think I've seen that thing, right? Like that's been in the shop before to get sharpened. I'm pretty sure a Cambodian tire hatchet is like a gang move. Like, no, no. That's that, a mob hit. That's I the, just said no, no, no. move. That, that, it's, the like, sequ- it's the sequel movie. To, it's, it's the sequel movie to Kung Fu Hustle. I don't know what you guys are talking about. No? Nothing? All right, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> no, no, nothing. Uh, uh, we deadpanned Joe into sadness. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? And now what? I drink. I'm disappointed that I missed it. Oh. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Wi-Fi still being crappy. We are, we are coming to the... Yeah, it just popped back in. Okay. Sorry, Paul. 
not a worry. Um, Zinx feels for you, buddy. Oof. <laughs> that was bad. Just silence. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Joe. But the bearded knife guy, he dropped his uh, Chris Reeves and Cozy, chicked the hep, yeah, chipped the heck out of the blade in multiple places. Sad face emoji. Yeah, no kidding. That's the most important part, is the I'll, sad uh... face emoji. <laughs> what were you saying, Joe? I was I was going to save it for the end, but it, it's topical, so I may as well talk about it. Uh, this knife has fallen out of my pocket some dozen or so times while I was in college. It was my EDC while I was there, and it would get caught on all kinds of things and come flying out. I've dropped this thing on concrete stairs uh on tile on all kinds of crappy surfaces and actually i'm very happy with how it's held up and i kind of like here's my here's my scar i'm looking for the the damage marks on this thing um but i it was so minor. So really he's just he's just bragging about that chris Reed sweet sweet clip retention right like it's... <laughs> yeah it sucks um <laughs> Um, I was going to say, I'm so lucky that Mr. Like, Fisk went to bed. You, you, I don't think you're even going to be able to see it. You'll be able to see my scar more clearly than you'll be able to see this damage, but um, it's slightly more flat on the top here than it is down here now, and there's a ton of scratches on the side. But it's a user, so I didn't mind as much, but every time it fell out of my pocket, it was this gut-wrenching, like, oh, that's a $700 knife that you just dropped, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> really I've upsetting. I had somebody else drop my anthem. Oh yeah, the uh, off the counter, right? Oh, well, that they closed it and it tinged off the counter. I was talking about Morgan accidentally throwing it, trying to pop it open. Right, but at least that one landed just on wood, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've dropped it on concrete before, and got away scot free. Like, I think I even put my foot out and kind of caught it. Nice. Because I was get, willing to take that to the foot to try and save it. Uh, was the knife open at the time, or was it closed? Oh no, it it fell open. Uh. We're all dead. Um, it's getting late, and we've kind of come to the end of our answers. Unless anybody, like, what are your guys' responses as far as? That was it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That still yep. makes me uh, sad. Yep. I uh, caught the pocket clip on my Refere Noble Chaparral and just when it caught it twisted and just exploded the scale apart. That's painful. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess I technically have a different answer. The, talking about the wire pocket clip reminded me. Uh, I sheared the, the original wire clip off of this thing by accident. Uh, trying to quickly get out of somebody's way, this caught on the edge of a table, and I just pushed and, yeah. But, but surprise, surprise, Joe has two answers. Well, <laughs> well, up until I remembered this, I thought this was the most damaged <laughs> knife in my collection. But I guess technically this works. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no the uh, the Bark River Essential was the worst damage I've ever done. Was dropping that on concrete. The it landed edge down on concrete and just like the it was a good thing in it. Yeah, M4 blade too. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it legitimately ruined that whole day. Was that uh, <laughs> who which, that whole day about it? Was it Nigel or Dennis who helped you resharpen that? Or I did that. that yeah, I couldn't remember. Nigel yeah. did a hell of a good job on it. It came back fucking screaming sharp. Thank you. Indeed. So even M4 doesn't like a, a five feet fall <laughs> edge first on the on, concrete. On the concrete. Yeah. At six a.m. because that's important. <laughs> it was still sleeping. It didn't have the time to get out of the way. Fair. <laughs> Judgmental Joe face. No, just sad. Just sad. <laughs> what about you, Dennis? What have you done tonight? Um, I'm going to give generic answer on this one, just throwing stuff. And yes. like, that whether count. it's the Gookeries, whether it's the Smatchets, the blade on blade count, you should see the notches we put into throwing I stuff. I guess technically it's, 
Those Brutal damage. Blade on blade damage. But isn't it easily it, hands but, down the but most it, damage I do to stun? My only gripe with that is it isn't it expected that you're going to damage the blades eventually doing that kind of stuff? Only and then I can just play. Good you think you are? What? I can just play the the semantics game as well because the question was accidentally damaged. And you're throwing the knife, so you're throwing it next to each other, so that's not really an accident. Well, I've broken two condors this year that didn't go blade on blade contact, so that was definitely not intentional. Those were accidental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Those yeah. were definitely accidental. I snapped two of them because my target is so damn dense. But honestly, other than that, like I've had, I know my Tom Brown tracker had a really big notch in it from using it camping last year, but it's never been like, there's never been anything that is like, oh my god, this is like the worst I've ever done, other than throwing stuff, and it's just yeah. like, holy okay. shit, like it's, yeah, and you go through a lot of throwing stuff if you're gonna start throwing stuff, like, yeah. fair enough. The Paul of last year versus the Paul of this year, if I had dropped my essential now, I probably would have had the confidence to go, shit, this sucks, and then sit down and start sharpening it. Mm-hmm. I didn't have that confidence level last year with that kind of grind and stuff like that. Like right. I think I've just been lucky, honestly, um, that I haven't done more damage than dropping a Sebenza a few times and shearing a pocket clip. I feel really bad for Nigel and the fact that his pocket clip <laughs> fucking destroyed the back end of that chaparral, but... Yeah. And I mean, I would also say axes in particular, because we have chopped up wood, both me and you, both Nigel, where we've chopped wood up and whatever, and there's been a nail that you didn't know or whatever, because mm-hmm. you're breaking a pallet apart. And I know I've been going hard with an axe and all of a sudden stopped and there's two or three big, huge dings that you're like, whoa, okay, where did that come from type of thing? Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Or you see the sparks go flying off the side and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Actually, my frontier Bowie, that I notched that thing something fierce on a camp trip with rocks like that were mm-hmm. actually up in bark, and I was oh yeah so oof that's trimming a tree down and I saw the sparks fly yeah so yikes I didn't hear about that one crazy rocks and bark it happens. The tree was lying down, so it okay. was already down, and it had probably gotten like rocks and stuff like kicked up onto it. And then we had drug it down for firewood, right. and I was cleaning it up. And as I was like shearing small branches off of it, like to turn it into a pole to chop it into wood, shear yeah, and saw the sparks fly, and that ruined the weekend. Well, no, it didn't ruin <laughs> the weekend, but it was like, oh crap, that sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, seems yes. like that's kind of rounded up the answers and gone through all the questions here, and we've pushed on a little later than usual, so finish it off? Yeah, okay. I think so. Cool. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, yeah, this is Nigel Smith signing off. Uh, I am who I am. I'm Dennis Swipers. I am the Iron Joe. I'm XL.ca. We will catch you again next time. 